Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So I thought today do a EDC packet dump update. It's um, December 10th. I just got home from work. Um, I'll probably post this tomorrow, Friday the 11th. But yeah, so everything I carried to work last night, I'll show you. And the, the things that I've you know, that's been in previous packet dumps. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on. So I guess, start off, I still carry my little pen holster, which you can put on a belt, but I don't. This fits down in my um, chest pocket of the coats we got at work. So, same stuff. I got the Gerber Pride Bread in the back, and... The Night Eyes um, hip clip is working good. It's still solid. So I use this every day at work. I got a Zebra F701 pen. Zebra M701 mechanical pencil. And a Zebra PM701 permanent marker. And I use the pencil and the marker every night at work. And let me show you. I write on some rough surfaces, and the tip is still, still pretty good. Hardly shows, doesn't show too much wear. So, that's that's the same as normal. Plus, a little notebook for notes and stuff. Um, say keys, keys. I still got the same setup. Got the Chum's key quiver. It, it's working out good. This thing, you know, comes with a little pry tool. I've used that a couple times. A couple of keys. Still got my dad's screwdriver key on here that he always had on his keychain. So, kind of a pain when you get them all out, but yeah, it's holding up good. It did loosen up. And the tool actually flapped out, but I just tightened it up. Uh, still got the Olight I1R2, little charge, rechargeable light. And my Victornax Classic SD, which lately I've had to keep pushing the toothpick and the, the tweezers up. They keep wanting to come out. So, I may have to swap that out soon, but... <clears throat> Keychain still the same. I happen to have, I think, the same watch as I did last time. The Casio Luminator W800H. Nice. I just like this watch. It's pretty cheap. It was like seventeen bucks. Um. Next, I'll show it this time, but my my coat knife. A winter coat knife, the Kershaw Thistle. That's been living in my coat pocket since I decided to carry a winter coat knife. Okay, back pocket. Of course, I got a Hank, Gondak EDC Hank, Star Wars, Millennium Falcon. I like I like the blue on that. Oh, <clears throat> and. Um, since I got it, I haven't gone any place without my Leatherman Wave. And I got all the accessories. I got a pocket clip on it. You know, they're sold separate. Got the bit kit, the bit ex extender, and my flashlight right on here. There's an Olight i3T. So. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't left the house without this, so it's come in handy so many times. It's an awesome, awesome multi-tool. And I like this setup this way. Now I can actually close it. Man, it was tight for a while. It's loosened up a little bit. So my that's the Leatherman Wave Plus. And real quick... The plus on it is 
the replaceable wire cutter blades. The Wave doesn't have them. The Wave Plus came has the replaceable wire cutters. So that's that. Um, of course, my phone, my Galaxy, whatever, A51 that I'm recording on. That's in my, my front left pocket. And last night I threw this in my pocket. It moved around. It ended up in the same pocket as my phone. But it's a little, little leather sheath. The small that I got. Or leather knife slip. I got from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Along with the Rough Rider. Um. RR2197 little knife pick and small pry, pry tool. My card of scales. Pretty cool. So, yeah. This um, knife slip's a Rough Rider also. But the pry tool costs $9.99. The small knife slip was $2.99. So, that's a good way to carry that. That fit in the same my front pocket with my big ass phone, so it worked out. <clears throat> um, of course, wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be feeling normal if I didn't have my little Zippo six foot tape measure? So that was in my right pocket, and my wallet is actually different. This is the Travax um, armor, Armored Summit Wallet. I just got this. I've had it for a couple of days. It works really good. And um, I got the Travax Wallet Beard Comb. That fits in there. Fits perfect in there like it was made for it. But yeah, I had the I was carrying the Travax original 2.0, which I really like. Um, this is just a little bit smaller. And I don't know which one I like better. This one's kind of neat. Um the other one's got the paracord little latch on top, which has a little lanyard to, and I used that to pull it out of my pocket. I, I might have to put a lanyard on this. So I can reach in and pull it out easier. I mean, it's not hard or anything. Get a little spot for cash on the back. So yeah, the Travax um, Armored Summit Wallet. It's pretty, pretty nice. I like that. Um, I've also, for the past several days since I got it, I've carried a neck knife. The Civivi Cura... EDC. This, this is pretty cool. Um, I didn't think I'd like carrying neck knives. Actually, tonight though, I had a dine and it got warm, so I took my coat off, my jacket off, my work jacket, and I took this off because I didn't feel like sticking down inside my t shirt. And I kind of just I rolled it up like this, stuck in my back pocket, and I carried it like that for a few hours tonight and I've used it several times it's it's a slicey little box opener let me tell you but <clears throat> the only thing about this if you notice I don't know the black this ball chain the black's coming off so it kind of looks like crap I'm gonna find um yeah, I come up with a different solution for this. The ball chain do doesn't bother me around my neck, but yeah, it slides through here. So I put the connector right here so it actually it doesn't slide through around there because that was driving me nuts. I'd have it up on top, then I'd find it way down here and I'd move it back, but. 
I put it like that. It stayed stayed put. But yeah. I never thought I'd carry a neck knife, but it actually comes in handy. It's kinda kinda cool. And this see how thin this is? This is just lays flat against you. Nobody even knows you got it on. So that my knife of the day is a Ritter Ritter Hogue Mini RSK. Um, see, get it to focus. Hogue twenty CV steel designed by Doug Ritter. They're G Mascus G10. I love the purple on this. Um, actually, I lost this. And didn't even know it. Wife was looking for the TV remote in the recliner, and she's digging around the side of the cushion for it, and pulled this out. So yeah, I lost it. Didn't even know I lost it. Glad I didn't lose it for real, because I really like this knife. Rides, you know, carries good, and it's, ergos are good for a small knife, it's really grippy, got their able lock, yeah, one of my, one of my favorite little, little knives, so, yeah, that's, actually carried quite a bit, my coat knife, um, I did order another knife that might become my winter coat knife I'm not sure but we'll see when when I get it it's a pretty inexpensive knife it's, it's like a $20 knife I'll definitely show you guys when I get it but I don't know I might replace this one I haven't really used this since I put it in my coat but yeah, that's it. Well, I carry, you know, that's extra, that's extra. That's in my coat, but that's it for this pocket dump. As usual, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And like I said, it's December 10th right now. I just got home from work, so this is what I carried at work. This will probably go up tomorrow and Friday the 11th, but. I guess that's it. And until the next video, bye.